All right, I want to tell you about a new discovery I had this week. Peach mango apple cider vinegar drink. I made it by mistake because I ran out of something. I'll tell you about it and I'll tell you how I made it and why it's so good for you and why you need to sip on it from dinner to bedtime. But it's called my peach mango apple cider vinegar. And what happened is I normally make my apple cider vinegar drink at, after dinner and sip on it until bedtime, but I ran out of my normal stevia. I had a couple other ones. I had a berry one. I didn't think that'd go very good with it. And I tried this peach mango with it. It was phenomenal. All right, so here's the recipe. So get a big sport bottle, kind of like this, and fill it up about two thirds away with some water. And then you're going to add two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. I love the Bragg's brand. It has to be unpasteurized. All the Bragg's apple cider vinegar is unpasteurized. So just get this brand. You don't have to worry about it. But it says with the mother on the label. And that mother is the stuff at the bottom. I don't know if you can see this on here, but it's the, uh, looks like uh, this, the stuff that settles to the bottom. But you've got to stir it up really good. So if it's been sitting on the shelf for a while, you're going to have to stir it for a while. So it's almost all stirred up. I can see it on the bottom there. It's all gone now. So it's stirred up there good. I'm going to put two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in here. All right, next, I'm going to add a squirt of stevia. And try this. I always get the, the Sweet Leaf brand. The brands are so important with all the stuff that you do health-wise because you have to get good quality things. A lot of the stevia, most of the stevia out there in the stores are junk. What I mean by that, if you look in their main ingredient, it's not even stevia. It's either dextrose or erythritol, which are sugar alcohols. They're not even stevia. So the main ingredient isn't even what you're trying to buy. So get this sweet leaf brand. Try this peach mango. Shake it up really good. And you can put one squirt in there. So if you see what it do, it's so going to be squirt like that. That's about how much. I'm going to put one tablespoon of honey in there, raw honey. The best place to get honey, you want to get local honey to your area. You want to get local, you want to make sure it's raw. The best place to find that is a health food store or a local market. So I add the honey in there next. And then I'm going to put two wedges. This is what I call a wedge of lime. I'm going to put two of these. I'm going to squeeze this in here really good. So we've got the water. We've got the apple cider vinegar. We've got the honey. We've got the peach mango stevia. We've got the lime. Next thing I'm going to do is add some uh, ice to it, some crushed ice. And then just make sure, as with anything, you shake it up really good. All right, so I still have to add the honey and the ice to it, but I'll do that after I'm done here. <clears throat> so this does a bunch of different things, but I think you're going to love the taste. I just absolutely love it. I like the how I made it before. But I absolutely love this recipe. And it's just a mistake because I ran out of the normal clear stevia. So I threw some peach mango in there. So here it is. So put about 10 to 15 ounces of water. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. It's got to be the Bragg's brand. One squirt of the sweet leaf peach mango stevia two lime wedges ice and mix and what you're going to do you're going to sip on it sip from dinner time until bedtime and the apple cider vinegar does a bunch of different things I'll tell you why to sip on it in a second here but apple cider vinegar vinegar is going to help you digest your food good usually your biggest meals after dinner time so it's a good time to digest your your food it's going to help you balance your pH which is good for your joints good to combat arthritis good to combat degenerative diseases it's good with weight loss it does a whole bunch of different things Plus, the main reason why you want to sip on it from dinner to bedtime is because the worst time of day for most people 
with their bad eating habits is after dinner time. That's when they're going to eat too much. They're going to eat their junk food, sweets, things like that. This will help eliminate this. If you sip on this from dinner to bedtime, it's going to really help reduce your cravings a lot. And that's what you want to do is reduce those cravings. Remember, you don't want to eat after dark. So after like 7 o'clock at night, you don't want to eat. And let me tell you why, okay? You don't want to eat dinner or eat food later because you don't want to be digesting your food at nighttime. When you sleep, your body should do four R's. It shouldn't be any D for digestion. Hopefully your food's digested good before you go to bed. So when you sleep, you need to rest. Your body needs to repair. Your body needs to restore. And your body needs to re-energize. If it's busy digesting food, it's not doing these. You've got to have that rest so you wake up ready to go in the morning. You have full energy the next day. That's one of the formulas to get full energy. Number two, your body needs to repair itself from the damage you did, did during the day. It needs to restore things that were de depleted during the day. And you need to re-energize the body and it's done by getting good quality sleep. And if your body's busy, digesting food all night you can't do this stuff and you're not going to get good sleep and then you're going to be tired we have an epidemic of tired people this is one thing that can help you do that so start by not eating after dinner get rid of those cravings by apple cider vinegar help your body be healthier by the apple cider vinegar try this recipe because this is my absolutely favorite Apple cider, rest, uh, apple cider vinegar recipe. Try it. I think you'll love it. This is the world's best health coach. I want you to be healthier. I want you to experience life. I want you to have better dreams, better goals. And to do that, you've got to feel better. You've got to have great sleep. You have great energy. And you have to be at ideal, optimum weight. And your body functioning like it's supposed to. If you do that, you can accomplish more things. You can start having dreams that you thought you never could have. You might be 40, 50, 60 years of age, kind of giving up on things because you're down the, the second half of life. But if you really re-energize, get your body working optimal, and get your body functioning really good, you can live a lot longer. You can live to 100, 120 years of age with a great quality of life. We're talking about health span, not lifespan. Remember, lifespan is how long you live. Health span is how long you live healthy. That's what you got to have. Got to have that health span. Do this. Try this. Comment on there. Let me know if you like it. Also, on my Facebook, on my YouTube, please like, subscribe, refer me to others, share with others. The more likes and shares and, and subscriptions I get, the more time I can do doing these videos, these free videos for you. So please like me, and you guys have a great day.